It's been eight grueling hot hours on this river, chasing poachers in the Republic of Congo's largest national park. For these eco guards, disappointment follows disappointment. When you put your hand inside, it's actually still quite warm, which means that they probably left early in the morning. Finally, around a bend, signs of activity, smoke rising along the bank. They rush ashore and fan out into the jungle. Within seconds, a gunshot. And the pursuit begins. The terrain is dense and disoriented. The men force their way through the undergrowth and slosh through new deep water. Our CNN team can barely keep up. They've all gone forward trying to chase down what seems to be a poacher who, at least most definitely, is armed. They appear to have caught him completely by surprise. Mathieu Ekel, head of the park's anti-poaching division, brandishes the weapon captured by one of his men. The guy in front of him tried to shoot him. Pumped on adrenaline, Brice Moapelé describes what happened. He tried to shoot me like this, he says. Moapelé then tackled the poacher, grabbing the gun, but the poacher got away. There's elephant meat in the boat. The men find the poacher's canoe, weighed down with fresh elephant meat, still dripping blood. Even more hangs off the sides. This is to take out the tusk. It's a sickening image of a trade that has decimated the park's elephants. The nonprofit group African Parks, which runs Odzala, estimates 